there is so much of talk about pollution these days only thing we talk is population pollution pollution population what is pollution you see whatever our natural resources are whether it is air or water they have some useful components and some harmful components and some components are not harmful at all so as and when the useful components reduce and the harmful components increase we say the pollution has taken place for example in air if oxygen reduces from 21% air is polluted if carbon dioxide increases from 0.03% air is polluted if there are acidic oxides in air like co no2 so2 or no so3 and also some not just oxides methane there is lead other harmful components we say that air is polluted now why air is getting polluted why it was not a matter of concern a few years back first reason is the natural purifiers of air the plants are being cut so the most important reason is deforestation in india itself we have lost lot of forest area so obviously the natural processes by which air was getting purified that is carbon dioxide was being used and oxygen was being released are getting depleted second is industrialization industries are very good but then these industries also emit harmful oxides acidic oxides when they dissolve in water what they form is acid rain so this is another reason then these days how do we want to move your personal cars the biggest the car better it is nobody wants to use public transport it's a style statement but then what is the result the result is that so much of fuel is being used coal and petroleum both in industries and in automobiles the re the result is that again there are acidic oxides because petrol and coal also contain a small amount of sulfur and nitrogen in petrol now of course we have unleaded petrol also in petrol also there is lead and many times there are lot of suspended particles the unburnt carbon particles emitted from the vehicles that is why very important pollution check did you get your car polluted check if not you must do it today itself because this is necessary for all living beings have you ever seen the plants that grow on the highway even they look unhealthy and these days in metro cities like delhi and mumbai or other cities what is happening the traffic constables are using mask because otherwise they are developing lung cancer they are developing many diseases so another reason is automobiles population explosion obviously so these are some of the causes of the air pollution so the common pollutants are carbon dioxide carbon monoxide unburnt carbon sulfur dioxide sulfur trioxide nitrogen dioxide methane lead all these are the common pollutants so what we find is that these pollutants they increase in air and then what happens when they mix with the fog in winters they create smog otherwise we may not be able to see air pollution but during winters 
we see a layer of smoke plus fog which is called smog it reduces the visibility lot of accidents in winters are due to smog not only there are accidents there are also many diseases so we can take it as effects accidents due to smog respiratory diseases like lung cancer allergy watering of eyes irritability because you are uncomfortable you tend to become angry faster so these are some of the common effects of air pollution and lead can cause lot of nervous problems nervous system problems even smoking pollutes air that is why now it is banned publicly if you are not worried about your health at least worry about the others health 